Mama Gogo, the new film from veteran Friedrich Thor Friedrichsson, opened in Iceland on January 1st. This is a bittersweet look at a film director's struggle with his career as he has to deal with his mother's Alzheimer condition, starring two of Iceland's best-known actors, Christbjörg Kelt and Hilmir Snær Guðnason. Mama Gogo has strong autobiographical elements, and I asked Friedrich Thor how he approached dealing with aspects of his own life on film. I was just studying uh, the coll financial collapse here in Iceland, and, and, and uh, it's written out of my experience from that. And, and of course, I, I collect stories from, from friends and uh, colleagues, and, uh, and also uh, I, I wrote about uh, my experience with my mother, uh, who is still alive, and, uh, but got Alzheimer uh, 12 years ago. So I take, I take uh, uh, stories from our life uh, and, and, and put it together in, in um, one and a half year or something like that. And, uh, and also what happened in our society. So, so things like the code, uh, so I mix it up. So it's an unrealistic time frame for, for the, for, for the, uh, for, for the story because uh, Alzheimer uh, uh, hits people very slowly. Alveg er það segin saga með þig. Þú er alltaf verið ljóti, hálfvitinn og tittlinga námann. Að hann sonur minn skildi lenda og kvensnift eins og þér. Sínöldrandi, kvartandi og kvenandi. Aldrei ánað með nokkut skapaðan hlut sem hann gerir fyrir þig. Óh. Mikið lífandis ósköp og skelfing regnbóginn fallegur við fórsinn. How is it emotionally for you to use elements from your own life and use your mother and your own life and make a story about it? How difficult is it for you? It's easy to use elements from your own life because uh, you think at least you know your own life, but uh, so it's emotionally it's uh, okay with me because, uh, like I told you, uh, having my mother getting Alzheimer took uh, maybe uh, eight years for me, it, uh, and at least two or three years to recognize Alzheimer. So, so that's why I can look at it in a uh, in a in a comic aspect. So all the films I have seen about Alzheimer are very bleak films. So I had no intention to, to make such a film. I was more concentrating on, on the funny side of life. <laughs> Svona ljósið síðustu atburða þá finnst okkur kannski rétt að þú íhugir það að fara á svona heils og hæli fyrir aldra. Ég verð ekki að grínast í mér. Á nú að fara að koma þér á hæli. Hvað ert þú að gera hér? Er það þangað sem þú ert að fara með mig? Á hundahótel? But Mama Gogo also has strong references to film history. There's a strong scent of cinephilia in the film. Yeah, I have always had uh, quotes uh, to other filmmakers uh, in my films, so I, I, I'm just doing it again and again because uh, I'm very proud to be part of film history, so I say thank you for this music <laughs> quite often. It's almost like you can call Mama Coco an elegy. It's a film about an elderly woman who is losing her memory and her son who seems to be losing both his career and uh, his family. Also, it seems to be an elegy about the movies themselves and especially the classic European art film. Do, do you agree with that? Mm, 
<laughs> not necessary. Uh, when you make a film, or at least when I make a film, I, I just put these images up on the screen. And uh, sometimes you're not aware of what you're doing. Uh, and I like that feeling a lot. Hey. Of course, there's a lot of uh, kind of symbolic in this film, but uh, but not really on purpose. <laughs> it's just it just happened to become uh, like this, you know. It's not. It's, there are so many things in life that. Uh, well, uh, just like Stanley Kubrick said, you should always use your mistake. And and uh, and that's what I have done in this film. Pinko. Yeah, you will tell me that this moment, all the minutes. Hverjum dettur í hug að gera 90 minnum minn um gaman minn lappandi um í þoku og rinni? Ég var að vona að þetta er svona ellismellur. Er ekki alltaf uppsel? Er þetta ekki orðið moldríkur á þessu efskanni? 